Hi, I'm Alana Phelan, the polyamorous librarian. It's January 3rd. There's snow on the ground for the first time. The cats seem to have finally like calmed down after starting to run all over the place as soon as I hit record. My roommate just gave like the loudest yawn um, from her room, which is why I'm laughing. Hopefully the video caught it, but maybe not. And I'm here to talk to you about books. So this year is gonna be a really book heavy one for me. I have set some pretty lofty goals. If I do say so myself, they're a little different than my usual ones. And I have sort of looked at how I read and started to assess it a little differently in terms of what it would mean to talk to people about books and then started creating a schedule for myself so that when I can talk to people about books, I will actually have like a section on books that are about to be coming out, which is neat and, and something that I haven't really focused on before and that I'm really excited about because I do read a lot of books before they come out even now that I'm not a librarian in a library. Um, even though I'm not going to conferences and getting, you know, paper copies of books before they come out, like a lot of the ones you see behind me. Um, but I do have an account on NatGalley. I do have an account on Edelweiss and so I'm still reading books before they come out and I don't understand why I'm like not doing more to tell people about them. I do talk about, on Twitter a lot about books. Um, my handle over there is at hello librarian because I made it a long time ago. That's usually where I talk about books, but I wanted to do a little bit more if I could. Oh good, they're back to playing and they found a toy. That's a little loud. What I can say though, kind of a warning, is that my ability because of my illness is that I will not always be able to record things. Well, I probably can always record things. What I cannot always do is edit them. While I would like to say like, hey, I'm gonna be doing this every you know Monday or every Friday or whatever. I can't promise that. Every time I try to promise something as someone who is who feels the way that I do. So, uh, to boil it all down, I'm gonna talk a lot more about books this year, and I'm gonna talk a lot about some new releases. Like I'm basically going to talk about new releases. I'm gonna talk about books that are super great, review some things that I've read um, over the past year, and book news, things that I'm hearing, things that I'm excited about, now the other cat wants to play with that toy. And, um, but also like, just like general book things, like fun things about books, things that make me love books, just organizational tips and whatever you wanna know, just ask me and I will tell you. That said, check it out. So this is, uh, a calyx, a lot of book lovers have calyxes, you know, because you can organize books in certain ways. Um, this one is actually my book club reading goals for this year, which we're doing things a little differently and I'm really excited about it. Instead of choosing themes and then a selection from that theme, we chose the themes, but then we're all gonna go off in our own direction and we're going to read what we have either at home or that was already on a list of books that we wanted to read. So for me, this is gonna be an excellent opportunity to cut down on the books that I already have in the house. Now, for some people who are big readers, that means that they have like a bookcase of books. And for some people that means they have like a stack. And for other people that means they have two bookcases. So I have this Calyx which is filled with the themes. Like each cube is one to two themes. I also have two bookcases behind me, well behind the iPad, 
Um, I also have at least, I want to say at least two, at least two tubs of books in the attic. Everybody is picking one or two books a month, except me. I have a cube for each one because I don't have a full-time day job like so many other people and or kids at home or anything like that. Um, my goal is literally to just get through the books, decide which ones I want to actually keep and which ones that I'll be moving on. My roommate, who is wonderful, got me a little free library for Christmas and we'll be setting that up probably maybe this month or next month, depending, because we have stuff we got to get done for that. Like we have ideas to decorate it. And so um, a lot of these books will probably go to that. Like we already have, I, we, I already have a tub of books that's for um, seeding that. It's also like, you know, when people come over or on Halloween, I give out books. I give away books. It's who I am. It's how I'm known. So I really love this concept. It's a great idea for people who have huge lists of books that they really want to get to, but they haven't yet. It's a good way to focus on what, um, it, it's almost like a cleaning <laughs> exercise. It's like cleaning house. It's for physical items for people who have been piling the books in their house. And it's for those people who have like that Goodreads to be read list that just keeps piling and piling and piling and then you're not doing much about it. So that's why I love it. If you want to read more about that, I'm probably going to be doing a post soon about all of our themes and the books that ended up that. But like, yeah, look, each cube is a month, except for one of the cubes is two months because I didn't have a lot of books on those particular themes. So I just combined them. I'm so excited about it. I feel like it's going to be great. And then what I'll do is I'll just take like those books and then between them, I'm taking my net galley books and I'm trying to bump up my percentage there in terms of like how many I've read and given feedback on, which means I am absolutely positively reading books based on when they're coming out and when they leave NetGalley. So tomorrow, January 4th, we have two books that are coming out. One is The Kindred by Alicia Dow, and the other is Where the Drowned Girls Go by Shawna McGuire. I have to tell you, uh, I just finished The Kindred last night it's great. Yes, it is absolutely set in the Sound of Stars universe. It's a YA. It's about these uh, two people who are, they're aliens to us, and they are uh, connected as what's called kindred, which basically rectify a class issue. Every time two children are born, they're like connected. And what this is supposed to do is it's supposed to give like a sense of balance to class issues. So it's like no one too high up can ever be born without understanding the, the, the needs of those who are born from like, you know, like a, a poorer planet or a lower class or whatever. And, but the, the thing is of course, is that if you're high enough up you're never going to have that person who is uh, tied to you and who isn't from cl closer to your own class because, you know, God forbid, like a king or something, be connected to someone who's poor. So the system does fail at the top, except in this one case where this Duke, who is this, you know, teenage boy, is tied to this teenage girl from basically the poorest planet, the reason that this whole system exists. And the two of them have always been able to hear each other's thoughts, no matter how, you know, no matter how far apart they are. And they know each other completely intimately. And 
it's such a wonderful concept. The thing about Alicia Dow is she is, well, the one thing that I really love about her is that her books are YA in the truest sense. They're not YA written by an adult that's like really for adults, but you know, they're about teenagers, so they're marketed as YA. No, these are books that I would love to put in teenagers' hands if I were still working as a youth services librarian because they feel very teenagery. The teens have big emotions and they act on their big emotions and they make, they, they're optimistic like teens. They are pessimistic like teens. They feel like teens. And the books have that readability that where I, where if I put it in a teenager's hands, I don't have to worry about like the teen's reading level or their whatever, like the books move at good, um, strong paces, right? And the content is such that you're always pulled through what's going on. So this is like Sound of Stars and the new one, The Kindred. As a librarian who ran programs for teenagers, the way that they talk amongst themselves is both incredibly cynical and incredibly pessimistic. They're, they're very heartfelt and they really want the world to be better. But it's also sort of the blue, like a blueprint for what, what they would want to see in the world. And, and that's important. I mean, I really think that those are important books for teens like intensely important books for teens to be able to get their hands on. And it has a great romance in it, which is always important um, to, to pull other, other readers who are a little bit more reluctant in, right? Because reluctant readers who tend to, reluctant readers who end up being big readers tend to love dramatic elements like romance and con, like, uh, romantic conflict and things like that. So this book has all of those things. And there you go. <laughs> the other side of that would be Where the Drowned Girls Go by Shauna McGuire. It is the, I want to say sixth book. I can't be right. Seventh? Are we up to seventh now? In the Wayward Children series. If you have not read this series, highly, highly recommended. Also, do not start with this book. So Wayward Children, if you haven't read it before, they it's all about these uh, kids find magical doors and they go through them to these magical lands. And then for whatever reason, they come back into the regular world and then they have problems adjusting. So they go to this school. And that's where these stories either take place or the, the even number stories take place at the school. And then the odd number stories usually take place in those worlds. Did I do that right? We'll find out on the replay. And so I have been sort of, I've been engrossed in the even number books, two, four, or six. Yes because you go into those worlds and you get to see what they're like and they're so interesting and you get to they're so much more they're they're more character based whereas the other ones are more plot based but this one sort of does both it feels very much both um you get to go to a different school a school where you go if maybe you're not doing as well or you have different needs after uh, your experiences. And that is what's happening for this one character is that she has gone to uh, the school in the beginning of the series that has gone through the series and she doesn't feel like she's getting what she needs and so she needs something else and she finds out about this other school and she transfers there 
and she's not getting what she's expected there either. And it's really, really, really cool and interesting. I don't want to give too much. I don't want to give anything away, which is sort of my problem as a reviewer. I don't want to talk about any of it. You need to just go read it. But I will say that it is the first book in the, uh, in the odd part, in the plot, ongoing plot, that felt like the first time I really felt like I really got, like I knew not what was going on, but like I felt like things were happening, like really happening. Things were really starting to fall into place. Like if it were a TV show, this would be maybe the the mid-season finale kind of a thing. Now, of course, this is Shauna McGuire. The series could go on probably forever because that is how her imagination works. It's amazing. This woman puts out I don't know how many books a year in all these different series and she's a powerhouse but definitely starting to see a lot of parts coming together in this book and I could not have been more excited on a personal level this book spoke to me in a way that made me wish that I had had it as a child, not even like a teenager, but like as a child. Because the main character is um, someone who is sort of built to, built differently than everyone else. She's bigger. And I, it talks about her experiences as a kid and I just resonated with that so much because like I remember being younger and I look at pictures of myself and I'm like you just look like a kid but kids called me fat and like there was someone in my family who was just like you know your thighs are so big and I'm like I'm a child like I I thought there must have been something wrong with me then thing that was wrong with me was that my body wasn't built like that person it was built like the people on the other side of my family like there was nothing wrong with me and yet I carried that with me for I probably still carry that with me you know I'm I'm very grateful to this book and I I'm grateful to this book to exist and I wish that I could hand it out to a lot of the kids that I um, that I have been librarian for over the years who think that their body is wrong just because it's shaped differently. But unfortunately, I am no longer in that position and also the series is technically an adult book. It is, it has absolutely, the series has won an Alex, which is like, an adult book that can absolutely be read by teens, but the same people that will tell kids that their bodies are not okay are the same people that will tell them that they can't read something that has won awards for their age group, that it's too adult for them. So unfortunate, but my recommendation is to pick up the entire series. Uh, it, the books themselves are short. They are, I think, novellas. Or novelettes um, they are often on sale because of that a lot of a lot of times you'll see them cycle through sales which is really cool okay so that's what I wanted to talk about except one more thing I did notice that on Goodreads I have been seeing a glitch for the past couple days it is doubling some of my reads uh, I think since about the 30th it did it for where the Drowned Girls Go, and it did it for the Kindred. Why is it doubling my sessions? I don't know, but the best way to notice whether or not this glitch has affected you is to go to um, the site and then look up your books like by cover view, and you'll see it come up twice. I looked in my reading challenge. That was the easiest way for me to find it. Okay, so... That is, I think, everything that I had to talk about. If you have any questions, if you have any topics or books you would like me to talk about, I cannot guarantee that I can get anything ahead of time. 
I only have what I have, but my goal is to try to get to things um, relatively quicker than one day before they come out next time. This one was just a timing issue. Thanks for listening and happy reading.